part of our 2022 North Dakota Optimist Player Profile. Joining us now is Paige McAllister from Fargo Shanley. And uh, Paige, uh, for you to get nominated during your senior year, but not just yourself, but a couple of teammates as well. How exciting is that to at least for one more week kind of be, you know, a part of a couple of girls from Fargo Shanley showing out across the state of North Dakota here? Yeah, it's really exciting knowing I get to play one more time with them, whether it's like with them or against them. And just knowing like one last memory with them on the court. The one really thing exciting. about volleyball too in high school athletics, you mentioned memories. Is there a memory that that makes it stand out more than others during your time at Fargo Shanley one or two? Um, there's actually a couple like the state tournaments in 2019 and 2021 were huge just for like me and my team, just good bonding. And then we always have a dance party in the locker room before the games. So that's always that's always good ones to remember. You know, the nice thing about this is you're going to have a chance to play with uh, really good players from across the state of North Dakota. They're intermixing Class A, Class B. So is there someone that you've seen from across the state in terms of social media and highlights or a rival that's going to be a teammate now, at least on the same side of the net as you for a week? Is there one or two players that you're excited to, to kind of see and talk to and play with a little bit more? Yeah, um, not really necessarily in particular, but just like just knowing that like I was selected to play with like just good players from the state is going to be huge. Just yeah, I don't know, like <laughs> we get to like all play together one more time and just like coming together to be an even better team. So what is that your plans, Paige, moving forward? This is kind of the swan song, so to speak, of your high school career. You get the cap and gown, you get the diploma, you get to play in an all star game, then you start moving forward. So what's the next chapter in your life? Um, I'm actually headed to Bismarck State this fall to play volleyball and to get my generals leading into human development and family science. And we'll see where it goes from after those two years. So Bismarck State, part of the MONDAC, a really good JUCO conference as well. What just kind of made it the right place, I guess, for you, Paige, just to continue uh, your volleyball career? Um, well, it's a little bit away from home, but not too far. And an old um, teammate of mine, Riley Payne, actually gets one more year out there. So just I guess to be with her one more time and just it was a fun atmosphere. I went out there for a little bit and I really liked the coaching system and just how the team worked with each other. Deacon sticking together is a nice way to say it right there, right? Yep. <laughs> you kind of go from from there. What is some things that you will take away from your time at Fargo Shanley? Do you think, Paige, in terms of teammates, in terms of coaches that you hope to take with you to BSC or, you know, five, 10 years down the line? Um, from a teammate perspective, I want to get close to like my teammates again. Like I know this last season, we were a really closely bonded team and I kind of, I would like to see that happen again. And from the coaches, they kind of just like have fun, stay focused and like, don't let the other teams determine how you play, just play how you know how to play. It's just kind of everything together. Is, is there something, is that kind of what you would give advice for future Fargo Shanley Deacons or future girls that are coming up through a volleyball program? Would that be that, or would there be something to add on to that page? Um, well, yeah, that, and just like, always work hard because your work ethic is always noticed, even if you don't feel like it at the time. And to really just take in the time you have with each other because it flies by and like, I wish I could go practice with my old team one more time even. So just to take it all in. Final thing for you, Paige, before we let you go, we'll end on a, a fun one here. Superstitious, if you are, uh, what did you kind of do? Yeah, I know you mentioned about dance parties there with your teams, but was there something else that you did kind of before you got to a volleyball match? Yeah, I don't know if it's really superstition or if it's routine, but I would always get my hair braided before the games. And then I would always have, in particular, a sparkling orange Celsius at the end of the C-Squad games and leading into the JV games, like at that time. So, I mean. <laughs> All right. So where, <laughs> where, did, where did that sparkling, where did it come from? Like, was that, you know, very first game when you guys had the regular season or all, all of a sudden did you do it once or twice and said, I'm just going to keep this going as a tradition? Um, I think it kind of was often on junior year, but then senior year, I'm like, I need the energy. And then I kind of just found the right time and I, my favorite flavor. So I just kind of just like, we'll go with it. <laughs> Works out pretty well. Hey, Paige, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck at Bismarck State College coming up in the fall and, and good luck here in the Optimist Volleyball Series as well. Thank you so much.